In this video, I'll be teaching you how to make a text underlining effect in Webflow. So you can see from this example website, which so happens to be my old portfolio website, in the text professionally designed, we have an underlining text effect of this light blue. So that's what we're going to recreate in Webflow. So let's jump into it. Okay, guys, we are now in Webflow. And as you can see, we have this hero text of Derek Sue does a poo in the loo while tying his shoe going moo moo. So what we're going to do first is decide what text to underline. In this case, I want to underline poo in the loo, which is very important to this specific website. So once you have the text that you want to underline highlighted, you want to hit this button here, wrap with span. And essentially what this does is it, uh, is it allows us to add a class specifically to the text span that we've just selected rather than the whole hero text. So with this selected, let's give it a class of span highlight and hit enter. And what we want to do now is scroll all the way down where it says backgrounds, image and gradient. And we just want to hit onto the plus icon and just select the second one here, which is linear gradient. So with linear gradient selected, it should look like this and it should default select the black. And what we want to do is just change the black to the color that we would like. So let's just say red. And what we're going to do also in this case is just hit plus and we'll give it a name of red color and just hit create. So we saved it as a swatch so we can use it in the future. And once that's done, we want to go ahead and look at how this is set up. So with a linear gradient, you can see currently there is two points. There's a 0% right here. And if you click onto the last point, there's a 100% right here, which is a white. And what this gradient is essentially doing is it's blending the right red color with the white color. So we don't want that. In this case, let's go ahead and click in between, anywhere in between these two points. I'm just going to click it right here. And you can see where I clicked it is 27%. You might have clicked it somewhere else. That's completely fine. Uh, what we want to do is change this color to that red that we want, the main color. Yours could be whatever color it is. And from here, what we want to do is we want to go back to the white color at 100%. And we're going to change this to a transparent background. So we don't want to see it. So in order to do this, you can just drag the slider right here to all the way to a zero. Or you can just change the alpha right here from 100 to zero. Either way, that works. And clicking out of it, what we want to do now is we want to add another one of this uh, white with 0% transparency. So you can just click anywhere between the second point and the last point. So I'm just going to click it right here. And I'm just going to change the color to white with a 0% uh, opacity. So instead of dragging the slider this time, I'll just change the alpha to 0, hit enter. And that achieves the exact same thing. So what we want to do now is we want to click onto the second point. So in this point, I put 27%. Um, yours could be whatever you like. So the lower it is, say 18%, it'll be a much thinner line. And the higher it is, it'll be a much thicker line. And of course, you guys can just have a play around with this after the tutorial, but I'm just here to just show the concept. So right now, it's actually on 29%. So I'm going to actually hit onto the white transparency that we just created. And you want to add a 0.1% to the number. So my number was 29%, so I'm going to add 29.01%, hit enter, and you can see that we have this underline, except it's upside down. So all you have to do is just change the angle. So you can do this by rotating this dial here, or you can just hit zero in degrees, and that is it. So that's how you add a text underline. And if you want to underline something else, so let's just say moo moo, all you have to do is just highlight that text and hit span. And because we already created the class of span highlight, you can just type in right here, span dash highlight and hit that. And now that text is also highlighted. So that is how you do an underlining text effect in Webflow. Please keep in mind, there is many ways you can do this. There's other alternative methods, but this is the method that I prefer. And I hope you found this helpful. If you would like to see more tutorials, please leave a comment or visit my website, derek.su at dereksu.com.au slash tutorials. That's the one. Sorry, guys. I've been doing a lot of poo in the loo lately. See you in the next tutorial.